Aureolin is a lovely, lovely colour. It is a cool yellow that is very transparent and intense in its yellowness, but it's not as punchy and day glowy like the Azo yellow or the Imidazoline yellow or the Isodine yellow. It's a very versatile colour and it mixes well with other colours and I just love it to pieces. I would say it's my third favourite colour on my palette and I always always have Aurelian on my palette. It is also used by many artists and very much loved by many. However, it suffers from one very, very serious flaw that we need to talk about today. I'm just going to show you what the problem is first, so we can just get over the shock of it. This is Aurelian Genuine under Lightfast testing. You see what the problem is, right? Now, artists do use some fugitive colours because they are really, really nice and they tend to all just kind of fade away over time under light exposure. However, Aurelian has a nasty habit of turning into this grey-brown colour under light. I heard that Aurelian was pretty bad when it came to light fastness, so I thought I would test it. What I did was got a strip of paper, painted the Aurelian Genuines onto it, then I cut the sheet in half, one half went onto my window, and the other half I placed in a catalogue, and then I placed the catalogue in a drawer so that I could make sure that there was no light getting to it. And yes, we have had sunnier than average summer, however, it's still not California and I put this up on my window on the 22nd of February. Today is the 24th of July so it's had just two days over five months. These Aurelians have been like this from about month three. We're talking about Scottish March, April, May time and it was on a east facing window so it wasn't even getting a full day's worth of sunlight and it was like this after three months. I tested three brands that carry Aurelian Genuine. First up was Daniel Smith who classify their Aurelian as being good for light fastness. Second one I tested was the Windsor Newton Aurelian and again they classify theirs as good for light fastness. And the third one I tested was the Sennelier which again classifies their Aurelian as good for light fastness. I don't know about you guys but I wouldn't consider this to be good in light fastness at all. This is why I wanted to do this test and make this video for you guys so that you guys can see how badly Aurelian Genuines will fade on your artwork. I don't know what about you but I don't want this happening to any of my piece regardless of whether it's just going to be a print and therefore the original won't get sold so I don't have to worry about the light fastness. When it turns like this I just don't want to be near it. Now these three aren't the only brands that sell the original Aurelian Genuine which is PY40. This side is the brand that contain the PY40 that you should avoid if you don't want your painting to turn grey and those brands include Daniel Smith and that includes their stick version as well. Windsor & Newton and again also that includes the stick version of their watercolour. Old Holland, Sennelier, Jackson's, De La Rowney and Art Spectrum. Of course I'm not going to just say Aurelian is bad and then leave you with no options and so I tested some Aurelian hue colours. Thankfully, some other brands have realised the problem with Aurelian and therefore replaced their Aurelian with Aurelian hues, which are made with more light fast pigments, usually the Azo Yellow family, that try to mimic the hue and the properties of the genuine Aurelian so that you can paint with this lovely hue but not have to worry about the greying happening. So for this, I went on to Jackson's and got basically all the Aurelians I could get hold of. And I managed to get the Holbein, the Rembrandt 
Schminke, Mission Gold and Turner back in February. And I created this Life Fast Nest together. They've been up on my window the exact same amount of time. And as you can see, the hues are far, far more light fast. You can barely tell which side of the strip was in the sunlight. It's this top section that was in the sunlight right next to this one. So there are plenty of light fast alternatives to the Oridian Genuine. However, I can see a variation in the hue of all the Oridian hue alternatives. So I'm gonna show you a closer look at each of these hues so you can make your own decision as to which Aurelian hue you'd like to try instead of having the Aurelian Genuine on your palette. First up, let's take a look at the Genuine Aurelians so that we get a feel for what they're supposed to look like. I've listed the price Jacksons have each of these colors for at their biggest tube size and also how much that equates to per milliliter so that you can also make a decision about how much you want to be paying for your Aurelian alternative. I've done a wash for each color and a transparency test and also I've done color mixing with these colors. Since Aurelian is a yellow color, I thought it'd be a good idea to do some color mixing test with the cool and warm red, warm and cool blue, and also the ultramarine violet, which should neutralize the yellow color. I know that from doing the Daniel Smith color showdown that if there is any hue difference, then we're gonna see it the most when we come to mix with some colors. So let's take a look at Daniel Smith first. It's very transparent. I see barely any deposit on the black strip. It is a nice bright yellow. I like having Aurelian on my palette because it is a nice soft yellow. It's not a weak yellow by any means. It is very, very intense yellow but it is a soft yellow, it's not in your face, which for me and what I paint, and especially when I'm painting flowers, I find that really useful and a good mixing color to create the greens as well. Up here, you see how it mixes with the reds, the blues, and how it neutralizes. All of them create a softer kind of mixes. Next up is the Windsor Newton Aurelian. Compared to the Daniel Smith, I would say that Winsor Newton's version is a little bit more azo e in that it has that little bit more of a punch in the mass tone. But when you mix it with other colors, it's pretty similar in how it mixes with the Daniel Smith colors. And for the final Aurelian Genuine, we have Sennelier. Sennelier one is more opaque than the Winsor Newton or the Daniel Smith one. The Daniel Smith one and the Winsor Newton one is the most transparent. How transparent you go for is entirely up to you. I like my paints to be very transparent as possible, but again, you get a vibrant colors that have a softness to it. Now let's take a look at the Oridian Hue alternatives. First up, we have the Holbein. This is the one I have on my palette and it is a very transparent yellow. It hasn't got that azo day glowiness. It is made out of a mixture of PY154, which is the Benzit Midazolone Yellow H3G. It's often used in colors like Windsor Yellow and Sennelier Yellow Light. PY175, which is Benzit Midazolone Yellow H6G and it's used in Windsor Lemon, and then PY150, which is Nickel Azomethene Yellow, and it's used in the Daniel Smith Nickel Azo Yellow, Transparent Yellow for Windsor and Newton, and Translucent Yellow in Schmincke. All three are very light fast, and as you saw in the light fast nest, it did not fade at all over. Of course, the one downside to Holbein, especially if you are in the UK, is the price. It is pretty pricey. It is only just slightly cheaper than the Windsor Newton one and the Daniel Smith one. However, it does create 
are quite comparable color mixes. I would say that these two are just a fraction a little bit brighter than the Oridian Genuines create. However, you do still get nice soft colors. It is nice and transparent and it's not too in your face day glowy. It is also very easy to create a nice even wash as well, just like you have in your Aurelian Genuine. Next up, we have the Talents Rembrandt Aurelian. This one is made out of PY150, which again is the nickel azomethene yellow, which was also included in the Holbein one. I had a harder time getting a nice even wash. You can see some unevenness in the mass tone here when I tried to paint it. You do get nice soft tones, but I would say that when I mixed it with the ultramarine blue, it did come out a lot more green than I've had with the genuine colors. Overall impression, the color mixes are a little bit brighter. Next up, we have Schmincke's Aurelian Hue, or they sometimes call it Aurelian Modern. And this one is made out of PY151, the Benza Midazolone Yellow. It, it creates a nice even wash. It's a very transparent color. I see no deposit on the black line. And it has that nice bright, intense yellow. It's a lovely, lovely hue. In terms of the color mixes though, I feel like these are much brighter color mixes compared to this is for the Daniel Smith. It is a lot brighter in its color mixes. Next up we have Magello Mission Gold's Aurelian. It's made out of a mixture of PY3 which is the Aralite Yellow 10G and it's commonly used in Hansa Yellow light colors. That color is blended with PBR25 which is benzimidazolone brown. With Mission Gold and the next one I'll show you, we are definitely getting into the very bright, punchy, almost luminescent kind of bright yellow. If I show you a Daniel Smith next to it, you can see that the Mission Gold is much more bright and in requirement of a sunglasses kind of yellow. You also do get the brown coming through around some of the mass tones. And so I would argue about this being a good replacement for Oridian. I think it is a good, really strong, intense yellow and it creates a really nice bright mixtures, like a lot brighter than the genuine stuff. But in this video, we are talking about how close does it mimic the Aurelian Genuine color. And so for me, it's not really the same color. Next up, we have the Turner's Aurelian Hue, and it is made out of PY109. That is the Iso Indol Yellow and PY150, which is the Nickel Azomethene Yellow. And again, it is a really, really in your face yellow. And again, for comparison with Daniel Smith, you can see that this is a much more stronger, more luminescent yellow. So it's close, but I would say that it is a different color. As you can see, it, the Turner's Aurelian Hue makes a much brighter color mixes than the Daniel Smith one does. That's eight colors we tested for transparency and also how it mixed with the colors. I would say that of all the hues, that Holbein and Schmincke is going to be the closest replacement for the Aurelian Genuines. And you are going to get a nice even wash out of these. Whereas with the Talons, the color is a little bit weak when you see it lined up like this and it's uneven. So I don't recommend Talons. And the colors that you are gonna mix is gonna be a lot more representative of the genuine Oridian color. I don't recommend Mission Gold, partly because it is opaque and therefore if you are looking for that transparency, then Mission Gold isn't really the right brand but also both Mission Gold and Turner is a lot brighter and the color mixes you get from them are intensely bright. Of course, if you are looking for a nice 
bright yellow color, then go for the Mission Gold or the Turner. But in this video, we're looking at how representative these Aurelian hues are against the genuine Aurelian. And so for that purpose, I would say that Mission Gold and Turner is a little bit too bright. Still really nice colors though. Now in between Holbein and Schmincke, then I would kind of lean towards the Holbein more than Schmincke. And that's because when you look at the color mixes, the Schmincke's color mixes mixes a lot brighter. It's lacking that softness that the genuine Aurelians produce. Whereas I think the Hobby one, although it is still a little bit brighter than the Aurelian genuine produces, I think is a closer match. Brands that produces Aurelian hues and therefore are pretty safe in terms of light fastness are Holbein, Rembrandt, Schmincke, Mission Gold, and Turner, the five colors that we tested in this video. There are three other brands that produces a light fast Aurelian hue colors, and that is Lucas, who uses PY175, M. Graham, and theirs is called Azo Yellow, but sometimes they refer to it as Aurelian Hue, which uses PY151, and Core, which uses PW6 and PY150. If I've missed out any brands that carry a Aurelian color, whether it's genuine or hue, that you'd like me to look it up and let you know whether it is safe or not, to use, then please do let me know in the comments below and I will find out for you. So I hope this like fast test and the video was useful to you in terms of helping you pick a Oridian alternative that is like fast for you. I highly recommend experimenting with Oridian. I love using it on my palette. We just have to be a little bit careful about which brand we go for just to make sure that we don't run the risk of our paintings turning gray. The Aurelian hues are amazingly light fast. They are very, very light fast. So definitely go for those. And I hope that this video will help you pick which color is going to be the best fit for you. Thank you for watching this video. Do please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.